Hey, what's up, everyone? Richard Aguilar is back again to show you another amazing video to make up your day. In today's video, we are going to show you another latest and newest but most amazing technological innovation in China that are totally on a different level. So, having said that, here we go with our video. Now take a look at this. This pump truck, which usually shoots concrete, not water, was used during the 2011 Fukushima nuclear disaster to put out fires from a safe distance and cool down the nuclear reactor. But watch how it can do even better now when it comes to shooting water. And also it can do better enough when shooting concrete at a given target with precision. Moving on we have China smart driverless construction vehicles. Be it excavation, dumping or lifting, construction work includes moving heavy loads. Now the work could be done by smart and driverless vehicles. In Liuzhou City, South China's Guangxi Chuang Autonomous Region, driverless excavators, loaders, and compactors were put to test. The new equipment is controlled by a cloud platform that enables the machines to automatically coordinate their work. Moving on, here is the most recent technological and industrial application achievements of China's homegrown Baidu navigation satellite system. This were a showcase at the 12th China Satellite Navigation Conference. This swarm of 10 autonomous drones can maneuver through a bamboo forest in China. They are the first to successfully fly outdoors and navigate unprogrammed obstacles, according to researchers at Zhejiang University who led the experiment. This fully autonomous drone swarms fly smartly through crowded forests without collisions. China has finished the main body installation of the drilling platform based on HiG-1. This is a homegrown 300-meter deep water jacket in the South China Sea. It 
marks a breakthrough in the country's design, construction, and installation technology of ultra-large offshore oil and gas platform jackets. Next up, we have China's first series of self-driving sanitation trucks which started trial operations in China. The trial operation was done on the public roads of Guangzhou City, capital of southern China's Guangdong province. China's state-owned company Xingdao Concern unveiled the world's first full-scale fish farming ship. The Goshen One can reportedly produce more than 3,000 tons of fish annually. The ship will farm in the Yellow Sea, East China Sea, and South China Sea, with the first batch of yellow croaker expected to be on the market. That's all there is to it for today's video. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Goodbye.